Welcome to part 5 of the full boat restoration series that I'm doing. Today we're going to be putting on the carpet, the rails, and the uh, bimini. Let's get started. All right, guys. So, yeah, I don't know if you could tell or not, but I am sitting on the boat. Today, we're finally back at it. We just spent like an hour and a half vacuuming this thing off, getting it clean because it's been sitting underneath the tree because we moved it and all that jazz. So, we currently got it clean. We're resuming where we left off. So, uh, yeah. So, currently, I don't know if we discussed this last time. I didn't mean to snow on it. But I've got this piece of diamond tuck here. Basically, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Um, but we're going to be cutting this today. We're going to be trying to get, like, most of the rails bolted back on. There's only four, so it shouldn't be too tough. Or, I, mean, I think there's only three, actually. Three or four. I can't ever remember. So, three or four rails, get them bolted back on. And then after that, that's going to be the end of this part. And then the next part will be, like, I honestly don't know yet. We'll, we'll just see whenever we get to it. But we're going to be cutting diamond tuck today. And hopefully getting rails bolted in place. Um, you have already probably seen everything up to this point, so, yeah, it's just been a while. It took me a while to get back out here and finally do this, but we're doing it today. So, um, you guys can see where I have this diamond tuck set. I have it sitting underneath this rail. Basically, whenever I have this rail sitting on here, where this, where this green line is, carpet is exposed, okay? And that before seemed to be, like, the most damaged part of the entire carpet as you can see over here from where it's been sitting it's already become quite damaged uh, it's got green mold on it and it's honestly gross you can take a look at that yeah and so basically we're gonna be putting this diamond tuck over it to hopefully prevent any future issues like that why the hell are these wires on here you know them being stripped back like that from that is the best way to do that Fine. We're rewiring the whole boat anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, so we're going to get that diamond tuck cut out. Try to get our rails bolted back on. So, yeah, without any further ado, I've already marked it on that side. I'll probably show you how I did it on this side. So, uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and go over there and cut the piece we have. Get it set in place. Get that roll bolted on, and then we'll come to this side.
Okay, so we have all the rails bolted in. Well, not all of them. Uh, we're actually missing a couple nuts and bolts for some reason, but whenever you wait six months, stuff like this happens. Anyway, as you can see to where Victor's sitting, that rail is completely bolted in. But even these two, did you have to do that? <laughs> even them two down there are bolted in, whereas on this side, those two aren't done yet. And there's still a couple more bolts that have to go on. But everything is in place. And that's probably the most difficult part. Um, I want to show you guys the diamond tuck. There's a diamond tuck on this side. As you can see, I tucked it underneath that rail. Um, and I did the same thing on this side. Tucked it in. I think it looks really good. Um, better than seeing carpet there. Because I think it looked kind of stupid. To be honest, seeing carpet right there. But um, anyways. So yeah, all the rails are on, carpet's in, and everything else we've done in this video up to this point, which I can't remember because it's been six months since I last recorded anything for this video. But yeah, so that is where we're at. Are you going to stop the recording? I did. <laughs> oh. You're just sitting here playing with, <laughs> with the vice grips. Okay. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. It's been, like, a very long time coming. Um, I, I didn't honestly think the boat would ever get done because I quit for a while, and I, I shouldn't have done that. Getting back into it's pretty difficult, to be honest, because we had to figure a bunch of stuff out again that we had figured out before. We had all we had plans for it and all that, and now we don't remember any of those plans. Now we're basically starting from scratch with rails. But anyways... Um, we still have to get furniture, we still have to get two buckets for the front, a bench for the back, console, and maybe a table, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what I'll do. It's not even my boat, it's my dad's Are boat, we planning so. to play poker on this boat? Well, like a table for eating and uh, other things, it doesn't, uh, yeah, they, they do serve more than one purpose. No. <laughs> anyway, some people, we're gonna leave these, we're gonna try to, we're gonna leave that open back there, that little fishing rod thing, which one of them got broke. Probably we may buy new ones of those and put new ones of those on here. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so I want to thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, like if you've watched all the videos up to here, hopefully it comes full circle. Honestly, I hope it does because I'm still lost with a couple things. But um, anyways, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.